Hello, good evening. My name is Dave Gagne. I'm the town administrator here for the town of West Bridgewater. I'm going to bring to you a preview for the annual town meeting that is coming up on May 8th at the middle school, senior high school here at the auditorium. We do this every single year and it gives you as an opportunity for all registered voters in West Bridgewater where you get to be able to vote on basically three items. One is, is that you get to vote on all budgets for the town. You also get to bud, uh, vote on any capital budget items as well. And the last is any town bylaw or zoning bylaw changes. This year, our warrant is actually fairly small. There are only a handful of items on them on there, and it's actually about the same stuff that you see every single year. So we'll have a couple of articles, again, to allow the town to bring in Chapter 90 funds so we can do work on the highway um, and items such as that. CPC doesn't have any additional articles just to bring the money in as well. As is customary, we'll have a handful of capital budget items. Uh, DPW will be looking for a couple of items for their department. The police will be looking for a cruiser. The fire department will be looking for a truck and also a fire truck. And the school department will be looking for a technology upgrade for their panels. A couple of departments, Council on Aging and the Town Clerk, will be looking for copier machines. So for the most part, pretty basic standard stuff. The Water Department will also have a couple of capital budget items as well. One is going to be for a uh, large dump truck, and the other is to build a new water treatment plant, which I think most people would admit we really desperately need. There's also going to be a general bylaw that is going to define who can run for office, depending on whether or not you are a full-time uh, paid official or paid employee in town. The last is, is the budget. Now the budget encompasses all budgets in town. So that's whether it's the counts on aging, whether it's the fire department, or whether it's the school department in the water department and all the other budgets in between. This year there has been a lot of focus on the school budget. I can tell you that the board of selectmen by majority vote and the school committee by unanimous vote have decided that we will actually relay some funds from some additional cash accounts and recommend to the town that we fund the school budget in its entirety per its original request. So hopefully you'll be able to show up and you'll see exactly how we were able to make that compromise. The last is, is that we always fund a sidewalk account as well. And between what we have been able to accomplish in 106, Howard Street and River Street, I hope that you're happy we've been able to add some sidewalks over the last couple of years and we want to continue doing that process. The selectmen have also added speed humps as part of that article. And I know that there's been some discussions about that as well. So again, please come to town meetings so that we can all discuss it and we can decide the best way to be able to use those funds moving forward. As I said earlier, town meeting will be on May 8th. That's Monday night at the middle school, high school. It starts at 6 p.m. However, we do have some pomp and circumstance that happens beforehand. The school always does an excellent job of making sure that we sing the Star Spangled Banner and our, it is our children who actually lead us in, that, in the, um, that event. So if you could get here about 5.45, that would be ideal. So again, eight uh, 6 o'clock on May 8th, and we hope to see you there. Thank you very much.